Jamie Foxx is one of the most talented men in Hollywood, and I personally have enjoyed almost everything I've seen him in. Sorry man, Project Power was rough. But that love is apparently not universal, and some have Jamie marked on their don't work with this guy list. Welcome to Beyond the Screen, I'm Nate, and today we're breaking down the top 10 celebrities who refuse to work with Jamie Foxx. Number 10, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise jumped for joy in 2005 when he announced his engagement to fellow actor Katie Holmes during an interview on the much-loved talk show The Oprah Winfrey Show. Tom's excitement was well known to many people, including his then co-star of the film Collateral, one Jamie Foxx. Yes, I know, they have worked together in the past, but that is most likely never going to happen again. While close friends following the premiere of their film, Katie and Jamie actually became much closer than anticipated. So close, in fact, that when Katie and Cruise split in 2012, Jamie was right there to comfort her. The two were regularly seen together at ball games, or just out and about on the sidewalk, but it was confirmed that they shared a romantic connection following the leak of a photo taken by someone in Jamie's studio. The photo shows Jamie and Katie holding hands as they go through what appears to be some kind of meeting. Jamie recounted the story in interviews a few weeks following the photos circulating and confirmed that there was something there. He just didn't think it was necessary to tell anybody about it. Well, Tom thought it would be because Tom has been very open about the fact that he doesn't speak to Katie anymore, both due to his religious and personal beliefs. And when he heard the news of these two being together, Cruz flipped his lid at Jamie and has refused to speak to him ever since. Sorry, Tommy. Looks like Katie wanted someone a little more foxy. Number 9, Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne Johnson has been a Hollywood megastar since hanging up his leather boots and knee pads from his wrestling days. The idea of Jamie Foxx and Dwayne Johnson working together actually sounds kind of cool. The possibilities are endless. The only problem though is that it would be pretty hard deciding whose name is more important on the poster. Dwayne has been asked before if he would ever actually collaborate with Jamie, and he jokingly told reporters that he refused to work with Jamie simply because he's just a little nervous that Foxx would outshine him in whatever project they ended up working on together. The Rock has been in several blockbuster franchises over the years, and Jamie has been making a name for himself as a leading man with his recent slew of Netflix projects like Day Shift and Project Power. So while the idea of these two sharing the screen is epic, the fear for The Rock is that it'll only be seen as a Jamie Foxx movie featuring The Rock. It's okay, Rocky, just go find a jungle and make another Jumanji movie. Number eight, Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz first broke onto the silver screen in 1994's classic classic cult comedy, The Mask, alongside the legendary Jim Carrey. And she also went on to portray Princess Fiona in the Shrek franchise, and many other wonderful things. Now, Cameron's spot on this list is an interesting one, as she was set to star alongside Fox in a new action comedy for Netflix called Back in Action. Recently during the production of that film, though, it was reported that Jamie Foxx had an on-set freakout following the discovery of a crew member trying to steal $55,000 from his personal bank account. Jamie had felt that the production of the film was cursed from the beginning, and it's been reported that the project has had several setbacks due to weather conditions as they were filming in the UK during the winter. On top of the weather and the plot to steal from him, Jamie also collapsed suddenly on set and has been in hospital for quite some time now. Cameron had actually come out of acting retirement to participate in this Netflix project, but recently told insiders that she would be returning to retirement following the negative experience that she's had on set from not only the weather, but apparently Jamie as well, not only refusing to work with Jamie me again, but refusing to work ever again. Number 7, Nick Cannon. Nick has been a television host since 2006 when he first started on the hit TV talent show, America's Got Talent. His bright smile filled the theater every time he walked on stage. The energy he brought on top of his ability to interact with the performers made him a memorable addition to the TV hosting world. Now, Nick and Jamie actually have a pretty long history together. In fact, Cannon has gone on record to say that Jamie Foxx let the young actor stay on his couch as a teen when he had nowhere else to go. His kindness and care gave him the confidence to make a name for himself, and that he did. Now while the bond seems strong with these two, Nick has never actually worked with Fox, and in fact will be taking over his position as host on the game show Beat Shazam, a show where contestants have to try and guess a song faster than the music recognition app Shazam. Honestly, this will be a fun change of pace as Cannon has the right energy for the show, it just sucks that he's doing it because Jamie is in a coma. Number 6, P. Diddy. Sean P. Diddy 
is an American rap artist, producer, and part-time actor. He's worked with people like Usher and the Notorious B.I.G., but recently his name has been brought up in connection to Jamie Foxx. Back in the day, Jamie and Diddy were supposedly friends, and Jamie would regularly be invited to attend some of Diddy's more private events. Sean had rules set in place for the people attending these events, and the main one being, don't talk about anything that you've seen. Well, a few months ago, a post was made to TikTok of a video in which Jamie openly discusses a particular party from back in the day where he tried to enter with a camera, but one of those like big 90s cameras, so it was massive and pretty hard to hide. When asked about this event, Diddy actually denied that it ever happened, but several rap artists like 50 Cent and T.I. have come forward with similar experiences. Diddy has claimed that while Jamie and him were friends in the past, any future collaborations of any kind were exclusively off the table. Alright, well that doesn't make you look guilty at all, Diddy. Number 5. Denzel Washington You may know Denzel Washington as The Equalizer, a man who believes he has put his mysterious past behind him and cannot stand idly by when he meets a girl under the control of violent Russian criminals. What some of you may not know about Denzel and Jamie is that they physically aren't allowed to be on set together. Well, why? Eh, it's just because they'd never actually get any work done. In 2018, Jamie brought Denzel onto an episode of his short-lived interview-style talk show called Off Script. During the conversation, the two are regularly distracted and veer far off course from the topic of discussion several times. There were a lot of laughs during that interview, and the spark of a team-up between the two went wild. Denzel and Jamie in a movie together? P yeah, yes, please. Well, Denzel said no thank you. While he has nothing against Jamie, they can both agree that the on-set shenanigans that would surely take place would set whatever production they were on back, like, by a lot, like, way, way back. The only way this would ever work is if it was some kind of, like, an action comedy, but even then, the bloopers may be longer than the finished product. Number four, Cat Williams. You are sure to recognize our next entry on this list. Heck, there's probably a good chance you can just hear his voice by looking at a picture of him. Cat Williams is an actor and comedian with a solid lineup of belly buster comedies under his belt, including Friday After Next, the Scary Movie franchise, and of course, his multiple solo stand-up comedy showcases. What many may not know, though, is that Cat's been known to fly off the handle once or twice. A day. During many of his live performances, Cat has claimed to know secrets about several of his fellow comedians, particularly their preferences and partners. Cat has gone on mic and claimed that Jamie is gay on multiple occasions. Well, of course Jamie doesn't appreciate that. Even if he is, it's none of your darn business, so just leave it off stage. Even if he is, just you don't need to talk about it on stage. On top of this, following Jamie's recent hospitalization, Cat has expressed in interviews that his theory is that Jamie has been silenced for what he said about P. Diddy. But Cat also said stuff about P. Diddy and it was like the same thing, so why is Jamie in the hospital and you're not, Cat? The refusal to work together is very mutual for this one, as both Jamie and Cat have expressed their professional respect towards each other, but the chances of these two coming together for a project is pretty unlikely. Number three, Ed Sheeran. If you've been to a wedding in the last 10 years, you've certainly heard this man's soothing voice. Ed Sheeran first debuted on the UK charts with his single, The A Team, in June 2011. Since then, he slowly made his way up the charts and to where he is now. The redhead heartthrob has been in our ears for years. Did you know that he was also in Jamie's house for like two months? During an interview for The Graham Norton Show, Jamie shared a story. When Ed Sheeran first got to the States, he was seeking any opportunity to share his music with the world, and luckily for him at the time, Jamie Foxx was hosting a radio show in Los Angeles. Ed tracked down the location of the studio and set up a meeting with Foxx. Foxx then took him to his home studio and asked Ed to play. Obviously, Jamie was blown away. Not only did Jamie play his music on air, but he also wanted to see how well Ed could perform for a crowd that was not expecting him. Jamie put Ed at the end of a show featuring prominently African American performers from various genres. And while not what they were expecting, Expecting, he tore the room apart and got a standing ovation in 12 minutes. This experience on top of the radio gig must have been enough for Ed to want to work with Jamie forever, right? This dude started his career. Well, nah. Ed got out of there after about six weeks and he started making his mark on the stage. Ed's refusal to collab with Jamie doesn't come from a place of malice, so perhaps staying with Jamie for six weeks ex 
exposed him to some kind of a secret that maybe we don't know yet. Maybe we'll learn. Who knows? Number two, Bobby Brown. Bobby is an American singer, songwriter, and dancer, and is noted as one of the pioneers of New Jack Swing, a fusion of hip hop and R&B. He's been working hard since 1978, but much like any of us, he likes to kick back and relax with a little bit of karaoke. Himself and his then wife, Whitney Houston, decided to attend a party at their friend Jamie Foxx's house. Jamie would regularly throw karaoke parties, and a few notable celebrities have apparently stopped by. On The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, Jamie told the audience that he used to get in sync and Backstreet Boys to sing each other's songs. Oh my god, that sounds fun. Heck, even the great Hugh Hefner stopped by to drop a verse. But most notably was Bobby Brown and his then wife, Whitney Houston. Whitney had recently been crowned the R&B singer of the millennia, so this was a massive deal for Jamie. He pulled out his gigantic camera, he clicked on the battery pack, and started filming. Whitney Houston went on stage and did the song from Titanic that we all know and love. And I and it was a beautiful performance, followed by a few tunes from Bobby as well. Well, when Bobby asked Jamie for the footage from that night, Jamie had only recorded the parts of Whitney being on stage and not Bobby. Apparently his face dropped and he scolded Jamie for not capturing his glorious moment. There are several reasons for these two not to work together, but this one is just so sad. That video would have been a historical document at this point. And at number one, Seth Gordon. While you may not know Seth by name, you've most certainly seen his work. Seth has been a director since the early 2000s and has had a massive slew of successful comedy outings like Horrible Bosses, Pixels, and the 2017 Baywatch remake. Okay, those last two are bad examples, but Horrible Bosses is a good movie. Seth was recently tasked with directing a new action comedy for Netflix starring Cameron Diaz and Jamie Foxx. Initially, Seth seemed very into the idea of working with Jamie and was pretty excited to have him on board for the movie, but with the multiple setbacks by both the weather and Jamie personally, it seems that Seth has decided to wrap production on the film early, using Jamie's stunt double to fill his place. According to the director, the team has enough usable audio and video footage to stitch together a final product without actually needing Jamie. This is extremely suspicious, as this decision was only made two days after Jamie fell mysteriously ill. If your lead actor is hospitalized, you shouldn't just wrap up without them, unless of course you know that they're not coming back anytime soon, which considering the circumstances would not be a surprise to anyone. Heck, if anybody if anybody got paid to keep quiet about something, it would probably be Seth. And there you have it. Those are the celebrities who refuse to work with Jamie Foxx. Who did we miss? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you guys for checking out our content, and we will see you next time.